May 17, 2019, Storm Chaser Connor McCrory and his team are out to capture footage of a powerful EF3 tornado as it tears through a field outside Mineola, Kansas. My gosh, look at that. I mean, the color of the dirt that's getting flung up into the funnel. That's picturesque. <laughs> They're pretty close. Too close. The twister has made a beeline straight for the car. They are pounded with heavy wind and flying debris. That is a massive tornado. You can see they are in the whole rotation of that tornado going by. And that thing is a monster. This is exactly the view a storm chaser wants to get, but not be right in it. So basically, his vehicle is right inside the debris of this tornado. Way too close for comfort, way too close. The twister pivots toward the wind turbines, but the chasers may not be completely in the clear. There are these little satellite tornadoes that can pop off, little ones, right? And those can get you too, you have to be very careful. Chasing tornadoes is a dangerous profession, yet it produces important first-hand reporting that can save lives. But even chasers need to keep a safe distance. We need the information that they provide to give better information to our viewers. When there's a tornado on the ground and no one sees it, how can we warn appropriately that it's coming? We have information from Doppler radar, but without a storm spotter actually seeing the tornado, Watch out, guys. it's hard to communicate definitively that that tornado is on the ground. 